Hi everyone. I am Hilamara Salwaraju here. Today I would like to present for my subject hematology. I would like to discuss about routine hemological procedure and peripheral blood smear. My topic I chosen is peroxidase in leukocytes cytochemical staining. Cytochemistry is the technique to identify diagnostically useful enzyme or other substance in the cytoplasm of hemopoiesis cells usually by development of color reaction. So the elements can either be enzymatic or the example peroxidase and non-enzymatic for the example lipids and glycogen. Purpose of the cytochemical stains First, to characterize the blast in acute leukemia as myeloid or non-myeloid. Second is to identify early granulocytic and monocytic cells in acute leukemia. Third, to identify unusual lineages, example, basophil and mast cells. Fourth, to characterize the blast cells. Fifth, to differentiate between leukemia reaction and chronic myelogenous leukemia. Six, to confirm the diagnosis of hairy leukemia. Seven, to detect cytoplasmic abnormalities and enzymes deficiency in myeloid disorder. Example, option A, myeloperoxidase deficiency neutrophil in myelodysplastic end syndrome. Leukocyte alkaline phosphate deficiency neutrophil in chronic myelogenous leukemia. Next point, to identify our rods in myelodysplastic syndrome. Next point, to differentiate the type of acute myeloid leukemia and acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Next point, to classify leukemia. And last point, to diagnose the mixed phenotype acute leukemia by demonstrating myeloproxidase and non-pacific hysterase activity. Basic principle of cytochemical stains are enzyme plus with substrate it's come out color product. Type of Cytochemical stains are enzymatic and non-enzymatic. Enzymatic, first is myeloperoxidase, second, esterase. Option A for the esterase, pacific, and option B, non-pacific. Third, phosphatase, also got option A. Leukocyte alkaline phosphatase, option B, acid phosphatase. For the non enzymatic, first is sudden black B, second peroxidase acid C, third thylidine blue, and last pearl stain. Myeloproxidase is an enzyme present in primary and secondary granules of neutrophils and their precursors. Also present in eosinophil granules 
and in azerophilic granules of monocytes. For the purpose, differentiate between myelogenous and monocyte leukemia from acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Diagnose congestional deficiency of neurophil myeloperoxidase. Principle is the myeloperoxidase split hydrogen peroxide in the presence of chromogenic electron donor and forms an insoluble reaction product. The product is stable, insoluble, and non diffusible Method Pseudoperoxidase or repair reaction. Reagents Excitative Bufferate Formal Acetone Acetone 40 ml Buffer 30 ml Formalin 25 ml Substrate measure of three diaminobexide buffer Sorensen's phosphate buffer pH 7.3 hydrogen peroxide 30% weight over volume counter stain aqueous hemotoxylin. Procedure. First step, fix air dry smear in cold buffered acetone for 30 seconds. Second, freeze in running tap water and dry. Third, incubate for 10 minutes in working substrate solution. Working substrate solution, 30 mg of diaminobexide in 60 ml buffer and add on 120 microliter hydrogen peroxide just before use. Fourth point, wash and counter stain with hemotoxylin for 3 to 5 minutes. Lastly, rinse in running tap and dry hair dry. Results come out. The reaction product is brown and granular, all nickel are blue. Interpretation Early myeloblasts are negative with granule positive appearing progressively as they mature. Second, dark brown granules in the cytoplasm of granulocytes and monocytes. Third, monocytes exhibit weaker and more scattered staining property than granulocytes. Next point, red blood cells will stain efficiently brown because hemoglobin has pseudoperoxidase activity. Hence, act as interval control. Next point, isinophil granules stain strongly and they are finite residence myeloprosidase positive. Our roid stain well with diaminobenzide. Plasma cells and limboblast are negative. Next point, peroxidase activity is present in Pesopil, but not demonstrated by diamino benzene. Myeloproxidase. Image on the left it shows bluish black granules, and image on on the right it shows red brown precipitate. Myeloproxidase stain reveals strong granular cytoplasmic stain in many leukemic blasts. 
myeloprepsy days positive our rods are present intensified stain this is the part of our rods the image on the left shows myeloprodex stain positive and the image on the right shows myeloprosities staining of neutrophil at the left the plus is the negative the part is here in conclusion what i am study is the value of non specific and cytochemical stain in the diagnosis of acute leukemia has been discussed non specific stains for studying leukocytes morphology remain a present basis for the recognition of leukemic stains but already cytochemical stains are some value in assessing the recognition of the particular blood cell type in one such stains are best used in combination since there no such single staining method of inequivocal value in making such distinction thank you for listening hope you like my presentation